Catch that one. <laughs> that was uh, that was high. Pop fly. <laughs> oh, well, they're gonna. Hey, but it was straight. They're going to enact the infield fly <laughs> rule for that one. <laughs> We've noticed that high lofted fairy woods, such as a seven wood or a nine wood, are becoming more and more popular in our fittings. We're going to show you why you might want one in your bag uh, in this video. <laughs> Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahole of Second Swing Golf. I'm joined by Thomas Campbell, a master club fitter here at Second Swing Minnetonka. We are in the tour van today and we are discussing and testing out a kind of a new trend here in Second Swing fittings this year. Uh, Thomas has mentioned that he's been fitting a lot of customers into a seven wood or even a nine wood. Um, and the reason for that is maybe a higher launch, uh, more forgiveness. And so we're gonna test out a series of clubs. We've got a hybrid, we've got an iron and we've got a nine wood with us today. So we're going to test them out. So Thomas, um, skip, give the, the breakdown here on what you've noticed in fittings this year and why are seven woods and nine woods becoming more popular? Yeah, so it's to do with the height, it's to do with the spin and the launch. You talked about a little bit higher launch for those golfers mm -hmm. that maybe don't generate enough speed. Now, I know people are maybe like, well, I don't want to play a seven wood or a nine wood. Yeah. Let's just let the results kind of show how they perform because mm -hmm. they do fly pretty straight, very, very high. Generally speaking, a hybrid is going to be more forgiving than like a, an iron. So today's yeah. test, we're going to actually test a five hybrid versus the T100 four iron. Okay. I'm gonna expect the distance is gonna be pretty close between those two. And then I wanna throw in the mix, the nine wood. Mm -hmm. The nine wood is just gonna be an interesting one for me because I really wanna see what differences we're seeing between a long iron, a hybrid, and a higher lofted fairy wood. And then we'll talk about what golfer may wanna play that particular mm -hmm. club. Yeah, because I know that this is one of those really common dilemmas golfers have trying to transition from, you know, what is the longest iron in their bag and then going up to maybe their three wood or five wood or whatever the fairy wood is as kind of the step below their driver. That gap is always, there's so many options out there. You're talking about t utility irons, maybe just a traditional iron in your set going up to three or four iron. Uh, there's hybrids and then there's, of course, a seven wood or a nine wood as well. So all those options, uh, it's important to know which is right for you. And in this test today, we've got a nine wood, uh, another option there that maybe you haven't thought about before, but a very important one to consider. So uh, we'll hit some shots here and Thomas is gonna break everything down for us. Yeah, end of the day, we want a gap by carry distance. It doesn't matter what number's on the golf mm -hmm. club. What matters is what number you hit the golf club. Mm -hmm. Exactly, well, you ready to hit some shots here, Thomas? Let's do it. Okay, so Thomas, you've got the four iron here, uh, T100 four iron. Um, for you, four iron is the longest in your bag, correct? That's so, correct. Um, and you have the speed to kind of hit it high enough in the air. So um, the, obviously what we're gonna unveil here is that most golfers might not have the speed to do so. Yeah, well, we'll notice with my speed, what's gonna happen is this is gonna probably fly a little bit lower than the other two models. I'm gonna expect the seven or a nine wood is gonna fly like this and fly like this. Yeah. So for yeah. those golfers that need help to spin the ball and also get the ball up in the air and stop them power, that's what we're gonna try and showcase today. All right, well, let's start with the four iron here. That almost hit a lot better than the last one. All right, so Thomas, that was the, the four iron here. And just to get a gauge of what, you know, generally, right, I mean, we have the numbers here, but what would you expect generally out of a four iron for you? Yeah, I'm close to around about 220 carry with the four okay. iron. Um, I usually hit the ball about 100 feet in the air with the four iron. I think actually average there was 100 exactly. But I had that one that I did miss hit. So notice that one that shot four, mm -hmm. that was just a little bit lower, only flew like 90 feet in the air. Um, so I got punished a little bit with the, with the miss hit. But generally speaking, I hit this thing pretty straight. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you're hovering right around the center line and maybe that little draw you have kind of creeping a little bit left, but that's, you know, those are five, Pretty good shots, all things considered. So, yep. uh, but just the things to note here, I think, are just that it's spun lower. I mean, low three thousands. Height was right around a hundred. Um, and for you, you know, in your swing, that works out. You know, you, you like to say hundred to one hundred ten feet of the air is where you want your ball to be flying. Um, but now we can get into let's go to the hybrid here, and then we'll compare those to uh, four iron and five hybrid. Yeah, I mean, you look at the the landing angle. You see, it was like one. I was thinking it was like forty two point. Uh, 42.0 on average there. With a seven iron, that's gonna be a little bit higher, but my height's gonna be pretty similar overall through my irons. 
But when you start getting to those longer irons, there's a reason I don't play a three iron, mm -hmm. is it's gonna even lo be lower than this. I'm not gonna hit that three iron even any further than this, because this is actually gonna carry a little bit further. Mm, sure. So let's, uh, let's test the five hybrid now. So okay. I didn't choose a four hybrid, because I'm going to guess that the five hybrid might actually go a similar <sighs> distance. I mentioned in the intro that you want to gap to distance. Yeah. You don't want to gap by looking at what's on the golf club right. with regards to loft. You want to see what the carry distance is with regards to gapping. So a lot of times in fittings, what I might even recommend is to go with a five iron through wedges, and then maybe we actually have a five hybrid, which is going to be your next longest golf club mm -hmm. instead of a four hybrid, right. just because the hybrid we know is going to go a little further. Right. It's always about the gapping. You know, get that consistent gapping between each club, so you have basically every distance out there that you know, a shot may require covered in your bag. So, all right, five hybrid. Sounds good. It. Oh my. Catch that one. <laughs> that was, uh, that was high. It's a pop fly. <laughs> oh, they're gonna. Hey, but it was straight. They're going to enact the infield <laughs> fly rule for that one. <laughs> okay, so that one is a little bit chunky. Yeah. Interesting. So we know that I miss hit that one. I got a little bit of ground coming through. So notice the spin rate on that shot versus the shot before dropped by about a thousand RPMs. Mm -hmm. But notice the height still stayed 130 feet in the air. Mm -hmm. So I actually Very didn't really sacrifice. I actually picked up a little distance because that spin rate dropped. That is forgiveness at its finest right there. Okay, so. He's got the five hybrid, and I mean, you, you were right about the carry distances being similar here. I can bring those up, and you can see that, uh, you know, carry distance relatively similar. I think maybe a little bit of the face open kind of dropped the distance a little bit on a couple, but. Uh, what was the average carry distance if you're going to compare them? 219.4 to 223.9. So, I mean, if you had to have them face more square a little bit, that's pretty similar. Yep. But then that's about where the similarities end with these, uh, these golf shots here. So, yeah. I mean, height, spin, everything was, was very different. Yeah, and then also club face control was an issue with yeah, me with the true. hybrid as well. Yeah, I'm longer golf shaft. Yeah. Uh, for me, I have a harder time keeping that club face square because I have a faster speed. So for slower swings we go for, hybrid is going to be a little bit easier to hit a little, mm -hmm. bit, a little bit straighter. Right. But for me, I just... I'm not used to playing a five hybrid. Yeah. I mean, I, I actually played a utility instead of a three hybrid because I have a hard time with the, with the hybrid more, I guess, the left shot with me. Yeah. Um, but you notice the general trends is very close to the same carry distance with a four iron and a five hybrid. If I was going to tweak this one one degree stronger, then it would probably be exact same. And that's without even taking the ones I left that face open on over there yeah. on, on the right side there mm -hmm. too. But yeah, spin rate is, what, 1,200 RPMs more, and flying, what was the height difference? I mean, 47 feet. So <laughs> this is for a player that, you know, is, does not swing as fast as you do. Someone that maybe you have a four iron in your bag, and when you hit it, feels good, it struck well, you think it's going to go, you know, fly high, nice and high, and just for whatever reason, doesn't quite get off the ground. It's probably because you don't have the speed to generate enough lift there which is where a hybrid can be the, the you know, a great option to replace that. So this is that comparison, you know, and yeah. again, carry distance is going to be similar, but then you can see, you know, with a four iron here, Thomas, Thomas wouldn't have necessarily a huge problem in terms of holding a green, but um, you know, a player that does have slower swing speed would have that issue uh, landing on the green, keeping on the green. Whereas, and you can see the, the benefit of the five hybrid here stopping right away uh, when you're attacking the green. Yeah. I'm willing to bet a golfer that had, say, 15 miles an hour less club spin than I do, they actually would hit the five hybrid further mm -hmm. than the four iron. Right. So do with that swing speed. Yeah. Getting that ball up in the air to carry further. Yeah. It may yeah. roll further if, it's, if you're playing in Texas, but carry <laughs> distance, where is that? You want the ball to get on the green, you want it to stop on the green for you. Sure. Well, nine wood time now. Uh, we don't hit, not a lot of nine wood uh, <laughs> content on our YouTube channel, but uh, I think this might be its debut, so we'll see yep. what happens here. This is actually the first time that I'm really ever testing a nine wood, so <laughs> this, this will be fun. Yeah. It's a lot of loft looking down at this golf club. Yeah. A lot of speed. Oh, God. <laughs> 
Same number. Quick, I love how quick that stops. 223 going 227. I mean, so first, nine would clearly went the highest, and so it's interesting to me that you know, we, it, it seems like a, a centered gravity discussion is to be had here because you know you think about a nine wood, it's got it's a bigger club head, right? There's yep. more space down there, and it's a larger thing to look at. You think that's just going to go further, and it's actually, if I remember correctly, it's, it's uh, less loft, right, than the five hybrid. Yeah, twenty three point five degrees okay. is the standard loft on the nine wood. Yeah, so you think you know a stronger lofted club with a bigger club head like that would go so much further. And, and also a longer golf shaft too. Right. Yep. And you, you look at you know what we've got up here for a map, and it's there's you know a slight advantage maybe in carry distance here, but it's like you know the the center of gravity is just so far back for the, on the nine wood compared to the other two that you know you talk about total distance right now. The four iron is actually the longest club, total distance. Right. Yep. But we're talking about carry distance, so. What do you think, Thomas? I mean, what are you seeing from all these numbers here? Because it's, you were right, all these are, the carry distance is pretty comparable pretty between comparable, these three, but yeah. that's, again, the differences are just getting started there. Yeah, and we're also testing with the Ping G425. You can also adjust the lofts around a little bit if you yeah. need to kind of help, I mean, as you say, about every degree of lofts, three, de three yards essentially. Mm -hmm. um, so if you wanted to go a little shorter or longer, you can also increase, now keep in mind, face angle is the other thing to keep in mind, but you can definitely help gap a little bit yeah. better there. Um, but, I mean, for me, what I'm kind of taking away is I was thinking also smooth swing with these clubs being different lengths. Yeah. They're going to be different club speeds. We know that's going to happen. I'm not going to swing with the exact same club speed with each club because mm -hmm. this wouldn't be a very, right, very right, test. Right, right, right. Um, because I feel like I'd have to slow that nine wood and hybrid right. way down compared yeah. well, to the iron. Any golfer is not, you know, you get these three clubs into their hands, they're going to swing them different speeds. You know, they're, the shafts are different. They're different lengths, both of them. Of yep. course, you have a steel shafted iron. Uh, yeah, that's going to be completely different too. So uh, any golfer would swing these different speeds. Yeah, but I think the, the biggest thing di difference is, is spin and height. Yeah. Uh, and then what kind of player should should consider playing an iron? Yeah. Should consider playing a hybrid or consider playing a seven wood or a nine wood? Now I'm not saying you have to play a nine wood. Right. But a seven wood is actually a, probably a pretty good option. Even five wood compared to playing a three wood because it flies higher, mm -hmm. spins a little bit more for those golfers that need some spin. Right. Need some spin, need some height, need some landing angle is kind of what I would say is just, I, I know it's out there. Yeah. Because a lot of people would be thinking, oh, I'm not going to hit a nine wood, I'm not going to hit a seven wood. Just, just try it and see, kind of see what happens. Right. And if you consider yourself maybe not having the fastest swing speed out there, uh, perhaps maybe in that moderate swing speed category especially. Um, there's a decent chance a nine wood is the best performing option for you out of these three for your game to get you the optimal height, the optimal landing angle, uh, ability to hold greens and just maximize that distance too. Cause you want that, there's a certain height range to maximize distance out of this kind of area of the bag. And you know, a nine wood and a five hybrid are for most golfers, I would say probably the better option than a four iron. Oh, absolutely. For those golfers that don't generate enough speed to get the ball to, carry in the air if they feel like they hit the ball a little lower. Mm -hmm. So it's a great option. I would say is just give it a chance. Just yeah. give it a chance, test. Don't even, I wish I could just cover, I wish I could cover up the loft and the, and the number on the golf club yeah. and just let the player hit and say, hey, this is what's this carry distance on this. This is what the height is. Mm -hmm. And then, well, this is, this is our winner because it achieved what we're trying to do. We wanted, we came into this fitting, we wanted the ball a little higher. This club did that. Right. Hey, but it's a nine wood. Like, uh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah it's, 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 it's definitely interesting. I've just seen a few fittings this year where I've, I've tried to put in seven wood a nine wood instead of a hybrid, instead of a, a longer iron. And I've seen some success and it's just really kind of being really intriguing. So I guess the takeaway here is, you know, if you are one of those golfers that has, uh, at maybe at this spot of the bag, making that transition from irons to fairy woods, don't really know what to do, or maybe that, maybe you have a long iron in your bag and not quite getting the performance that you want. Uh, we would suggest kind of coming in for a fitting and have really have an open mind about it. Uh, be willing to try a seven wood or a nine wood, be willing to try maybe a higher lofted hybrid because it might be what's best for your game and it'll only help you out on the golf course. So uh, take it from Thomas, he's been the one fitting customers directly uh, throughout the whole year and he's seen the positive results. So uh, this is a good indication of it right here. I know you're 
Thomas swings as repeatable as anybody, and we saw the differences here. Higher, you know, more height, uh, more spin with the, the wood and hybrid versus an iron, and it's going to help a lot of golfers out there. So, Thomas, thank you for all the information, hitting the shots. This is really insightful, I think. A lot of golfers will like this one. Yeah, not a problem. Come on in and get fit at Second Swing.